are back here on the Senior Network. We've been talking again with Joe and with Neil, and we were talking a little bit, bit about socialization and how important that is for quality of life. Let's talk a little bit about what you all would provide from a home health care point of view. And then really, I know the Seabrooks, really, it's really important to you to mm -hmm. keep people social. So let's sure. start. Absolutely. So one of the things that we do is we provide caregivers that will, will go into a home, uh, give a scenario of, of someone who lives alone okay. and um, their family are just concerned that mom is, she's doing okay, but she's really not getting out and she's not getting to places that she used to. Uh, attend church. She used to have activities that she would go in and play games with other mm -hmm. seniors in the community. Um, there are some communities that, like like Joe, where, where you know Joe at the Seabrook, where they they can have they're available to those mm -hmm. folks. We would take people to some of these community Got events it. with providing the transportation, making sure they're still getting to some of those activities that they love. The whole point is is that they're not they're going to continue to be independent as long as they possibly can. Um, we we also our caregiver. I can was just going to say provide, you guys do the that. Yeah, they, they 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 we can design plans along with the family, and these caregivers come in with some training themselves as, as to how to stimulate those folks. And it, but the socialization piece is a part that I think um, really needs to be addressed in, mm -hmm. in most folks who who are aging because they just don't feel like getting out a lot of times. And if it was left up to them, they would stay in their homes. That's right. what we had been talking yeah. about in the previous you know, segments. We get complacent and it's hard yeah. to get out. It's no longer I'm going to run to CVS. It's yeah. like, you know, it takes yeah. a long, long time. Yeah, it doesn't feel fun anymore. No, it's not. Yeah. Exactly. And so for you with uh, socialization, what are some of the things Seabrook has? Well, of course, we've got a resident services director. You know, yeah. I mean, it's like going on a cruise and you've got it's all kinds best. of things going on mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. uh, so the people really have their choice as to whether they want to participate or not. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of folks, in, on, from an independent standpoint, still have lives outside of Seabrook. True. On Hilton Head mm -hmm. or in Bluffton, where, where friends who still live in their homes and they still do things together. So it's, um, but it's, it's so important from just an individual's health to be socializing with others. Um, and it's amazing when a lot of the single folks come in yes. uh, and they've been living in their home, most likely you know, with, without a spouse and uh, kids may or may not be close by. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like when you ask them after they've moved and lived there for a couple of months, well, how, how's it going? You having a good time? Said, oh. It's unbelievable. I mean, they've made friends so quickly because everybody's kind of in the same boat. Well, it is, know? it and it's yeah. hilarious, and I don't mean to speak, but having been there, it's mm -hmm. so much fun because it's like cocktail hour, and then, oh my goodness, dining. Food's a big deal, and right. the chef, chef is great. You know, it's oh, yeah. fabulous, so yeah. it's really fun. And One of the things I'd like to mention, too, is that when, when we, anyone who, who works in the home care industry, um, we also know that there's a time where it may not be, the home may not be the right place. Okay. Um, we want people to stay at home as long as they possibly can, mm -hmm. but there is a time there, there may be a transition to a place like Seabrook or, or some other communities where there is more socialization. Sure. Well, well, you know, Neil, yeah. and sometimes it's just strictly a financial decision. There really right. aren't the funds to be able to make that yeah. commitment to go to a, a senior living community. So, I mean, mm -hmm. and I think your your side of the fence is going to continue to increase in, in that yeah. need. Well, it's, look yeah. at this, what, 2027, we've got a third of the population that are going to be over 65 years old. I mean, that's a huge yeah. transfer of wealth. That's a, I mean, right. and baby boomers, we're not like the most passive people. And, and, I, and one recommendation I would make to, to folks who are the children, uh, you know, who are in the baby boomer population, right. I should say now. But we're sandwiched children, now between our right, folks and our is kids. Is to start planning now yeah. when mm -hmm. you are doing better um, getting your health care power of attorneys, your durable power of attorneys, and there's a lot of information that people can look at. There's guides that will help you take mm -hmm. you through these steps of aging in place. Um, so that's one thing I would tell people to, to certainly mm -hmm. do. As, as, as he's saying that to me, at and 66, I'm like, la, 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 la. <laughs> that's right. That's it what happens. It does not pertain. Yeah. Right. But it's, it's, I know it's It's really, hard. It's difficult. I know. Well, it's just shocking because mm -hmm. we are, we are, aging in place at this point. Right, right. So it's super interesting. It's really fun. You guys are great to talk yeah. to. It's, it's um, again, it's just good information and knowledge, and I appreciate the way you, you all present it. It's great to see you. see you. too. As always, you. good to see you. Thank you. As always, wonderful to see you all. See you again next week here on the Senior Network.